Tess? Come on, Tess, I need a hand. Tess, you're making things very difficult. Mom, you know I get seasick when it's rough. <laughs> it's not that bad up there. Why do I have to go? <sighs> not this again. For the last time, this is it. Fishing is what I do, and we'll make more money up north. Why don't I have any choice? Because I want you to learn more about fishing. You're ten years old now, and I need your help. I know it's hard, but I'm my own boss, and that suits me just fine. Yeah, and you're my boss, too. Could be worse. But, Mom, I'll miss Candace and Seafair. I don't want to spend my whole summer up north. Tess, enough. You have to go, and that's that. Now, let's get the last of this gear stowed. Hiya, Tess. Hi, Candace. I didn't think you were going to make it in time. Of course I would. You excited yet? No, no, I don't want to go. I've never been up north. It's rough, and I'll probably get sick. And what if something happens to Mom? And what about our baskets for Seafair? Hey, I told you I'd enter them. And listen, my auntie lives in Alert Bay. You'll be going by there. And she's a good basket maker. She lives in a big white house with butterflies on it, past the totem poles, along the water. Everybody knows my Auntie Betty. But I'm sure going to miss you. Shh. Close your eyes and don't move. OK, open your eyes. Oh. It's a present, a goodbye present. Oh, it's so cute. No! Oh, Mom. What are we going to do with a kitten? Mom, I'll take care of it. Tess? I promise, please. His name is Mamu. That's Salish for cat. Please, Mom. Oh. All right, all right. Yeah! Well, there'll be trouble over this one. Anyway, it's time to go. Good luck, and go see Auntie. Thanks, bye. Tess, could you put up the next chart, please? You could mark out our route if you want. Make a good record of our summer's travels. Hey, look at this, Tess. There's an old homestead. See, it's right here on the chart. Another fish farm. Oh, and that's Indian land. Used to be a village there. See, it's marked IR on the chart. Where's Alert Bay? Oh, you'll have to flip through about three charts. That far away? Yeah. rough water before we get to the harbor. Come on, take the wheel. No, Mom, it's too rough. You can do it. What do I do? First, look ahead. But, Mom, they're so steep. Watch the waves and keep Henry's nose pointed straight into them. I don't know how. Of course you do. You've done this before. Mom, not like this. Only difference between these waves. Watch now and any others, is that they're bigger. Steady now. Oh, there's another big one. Good, good. Keep her straight. Good. There's kind of a pattern. Yep. Is that where we're going? Yeah, yeah, that's Millie Island. It'll be calm behind it. The wharf's over to the right, see? That red ramp? That's it. Doesn't seem so rough when you're steering. 
I think it's because you can feel what the boat's gonna do almost before it does it. You feeling better? Uh-huh. Okay, head for the dock. We'll tie up there for the night. There, that's better. I'm never gonna get this right, Mom. Gaff sharp, nets. One, two, three, good. No holes in them. <sighs> this is too fiddly. <coughs> hey, Mamu, I'm not the only one who needs my sea legs. <gasps> Look out, Mamu. Mom! Oh, Tess. Oh, I knew that cat was going to be trouble. He's my friend. Hold him still. Now put him in his basket with the lid on. All right, all right. Look, we've got to get going. Bring all this in and sort it out while we're motoring. What a mess. Totem poles. There's the house. Whose house? Candace's auntie's house. Can we stop and visit? No, not now. But she's the basket weaver. Yes, we've got a long way to go. Just for a minute? No, we've got to get fishing. Work, work, work. Scarlet Point Light Station, Henry Bay. Scarlet Point? This is Henry Bay. Is that you, Anne? <laughs> yeah, it's me. We got transferred three months ago. Hey, you back up north for the summer? Yep. <laughs> well, I've got the kettle on, so you better head on in for tea. This looks just like your other place. <laughs> well, all the lighthouses are pretty similar. Look at this, Mum. What happened? That was the wreck of the SS Selkirk in 1929. The keeper and his sons had to go out in a storm in a little rowboat and bring the people in. Then they rowed them to Port Hardy, which took 12 hours. It sure must have been hard. It was. No phones, no electricity, no fresh food except what they could grow or catch. They were often left for months at a time. And the only way off the island was by rowboat. It's not quite so bad now. No, sometimes it's hard, but nothing like it was. Do you still get lonely? Ah, uh, sometimes. But there's lots to do to keep all the equipment working. And we phone in the weather report every three hours for the marine radio. And we work with the Coast Guard for distress calls. What's this for? That's the old bell for the fog signal. It weighed half a ton. A weighted rope turned the gears that slammed a 20-pound hammer. It had to be operated by hand and wound up every three hours. Sometimes in bad weather, the keepers didn't get any sleep for days. What do you use now? Come on, I'll show you. What a view! Yeah, we sometimes see the orcas passing by and more kayakers than ever before. Could they see the light from where they are? Oh, yes. This light can be seen every five seconds for 15 miles. Each lighthouse flashes at a different speed, so that in the dark, ships know which lighthouse it is. It's been great, Anne. But we better get going. Time to find some fish. OK, Tess. I want you to steer Henry out. But, Mom... No buts. Now, put her in gear. 
Get on the throttle. There's a tidal current pushing into the lagoon. It's not working. Turn the wheel. Harder. Try again. Give her more power. A bit more. There. You got it. Now, oh, that wasn't so bad, was it? Look, Tess. This is what the lighthouse looks like on the chart. See? It shows the distance and the flashes. Mom, how can we stop to the lighthouse? But you wouldn't let me stop at Auntie's? Hmm? There are some things that I would like to do, you know. Well, you... you have a point. I'm so used to being captain and doing it my way all the time. We'll try and make time for a visit next time we're in Alert Bay. Okay. better than this. Yeah, it's got seaweed on it. Well, we bait it. Get it down again. Ooh. There. We tried this side of the reef for a while. Over you go. <sighs> Try moving a little faster. I'm never gonna get used to this. <laughs> Come on. Here, bait this while I move the boat again. I thought it would be better fishing than this. I wonder if it's fished out. Whoa, lots more logging. Look at those clear cuts. My hands hurt. Uh, go on, we just started. There. We're on the other side. See, Tess? Let's just try it here for a while. I give up. I'm going in to get warm. I'm freezing. And there's hardly any fish. But Mom never gives up. You silly. You want all my attention. Mamu, stop that. Oh, no. Now we're in for it. Maybe this will work. There, that's almost OK. Hey, look at this. Mamu, it's the right depth and has steep sides. Maybe we should try it. Mom! Yeah? What is it? Mom, I want to show you something. Well, uh, well, we had a little accident. Uh-huh. Let me guess who's to blame. But look, X marks the spot. Mm, well, now that looks interesting. Can we try it? Sure. Let's. We must be just about on it. Look, there's the edge of the reef. Come on, three big ones. I'm on the bottom. Got something. Good, bring her in. Two wings. Great. Oh, hey, I've got something too. Now let's see. And one big one, well, that's a good start. In you go. Mamu 
makes up for ripping the chart, I guess. This is really fun, Mom. <laughs> That's what I like about this life. You just never know what's going to happen next. Twenty percent is reasonable. What do you mean, Mom? Well, after I pay for the expenses, the gas and food and that kind of stuff, I'll pay you twenty percent of what's left. That means you get twenty cents for every dollar. How much will that be? <laughs> I don't know yet. Depends on how many more cod you can catch. But I get some say in what you do with it. I know. I could get a horse. On a boat? Oh, Ma'am, Lou! Honestly, look at this mess. When will you learn? Hey! What's that? Mom! It's orcas! Lots! Five. No, six. I can't tell. They're too far away. Well, let's call Paul at the Orca Lab. We'll see if he's picked them up on the hydrophones. Orca Lab? Orca Lab, this is Henry Bay. Orca Lab? Henry Bay, this is Orca Lab. Come in. Hi, Paul. Just spotted a pot of orcas headed your way. I don't know how many. Maybe six or more? Thanks, Sue. In fact, we're tracking them on the hydrophones right now. Say, since you're so close, why don't you come in for a visit? Thanks, Paul. Were orcas called blackfish? Yep, and killer whale. We discovered an eagle's nest just around the point. We're going to see if Chris can get some pictures. Do you want to come out with me in the kayak? In that? No, I don't think so. Don't worry. It's perfectly safe. I've been out in it. It really is more stable than it looks. We used to use the kayaks a lot in our research. They're so quiet, we could get close to the animals. But now we have decided to do all our research on shore so that we wouldn't disturb the orcas. Do you ever see orcas when you're kayaking? Sometimes, if we're lucky. Isn't it scary? No, they won't hurt us. They're aggressive when they're hunting together for food, but peaceful and cooperative in their family groups. Look, there's the eagle's nest. Watch. your lucky day. Looks like the same pod you saw earlier. How can you tell? Each whale has a patch of white, called a saddle, just behind the dorsal fin, sort of like our own thumbprints. And that looks like an A4 pod. There's A11. She's the oldest, coming to check us out. They're big. The families are matriarchal. The oldest female is the head of the family. Beautiful creatures. Perfectly suited to their environment. Got a wonderful shot of you two and the whale. She must take some good pictures. Yeah, she's one of the best. She sells a lot of pictures to wildlife magazines. I know how I can spend some of my money. Hmm? How's that? On a camera. I could get a telephoto lens and take pictures like Chris. 
What do you think? Well, I think that's a great idea. I'll help you pick one if you like. Okay, just as soon as we get back home. Yes, we really don't have the time. But, Mom, you said next time we stop at Alert Bay. I know, I know, but we gotta load this ice and get out of here. Fish, fish, fish. It's all you want to do, except when you decide you want to do something. How can we never do something that I want to do? This is a fishing trip, Tess, and besides, we have done some of the things that... Oh, Mom! Oh. No, no! Mom, I can't reach him! Help! Between you and that cat. Here. <sighs> Maybe it was a mistake to bring you. And the cat. Oh, no. Oh, stop! to see you here, Candace. I just got here two days ago. Auntie's going to take me to an island where she gathers bark and roots to make baskets. Auntie, can Tess come too? Candace was telling me that you make baskets too. I'll show you how the quagels do it. You might learn something different from the Salish. I, I don't know if my mom will let me. When are you going? This afternoon, we're going to Mimkumlis. That's where the Mamalilekla people used to live. Where? On Village Island, not very far from here. Your mom will know. Um, I'm sorry, Mom. Well, so am I. It wasn't really your fault. I'm feeling pressured with too much to do. I'm trying my best. Oh, I know you are, Tess. Mom, guess what? Candace is here, and her auntie's taking her to where they gather bark. And they asked me to come too. Please, Mom. an old mark. See how big and long it is? We gather the bark around here in June when the sap is running and the bark comes off easy. There's lots of strips being taken off. We've been here a long time. When we get the bark, we wrap it up to take home. Then we have to work it. We used to make balers and boxes from the outer bark. The inner chukum we used for all kinds of things. We could shred it to make it soft for clothes. We split it to weave for baskets and blankets. We even used to make sails and fishnets and harpoon lines. We used cedar for many, many things. Did you just use the bark? We used everything. Some trees we cut down for building canoes and for making planks for the houses. See those skinny things like branches? We even used them for baskets. Here they are. Can we pick berries now? Always thinking about your stomach. Tess. You make a basket, and next summer you bring it to show me, okay? Next summer for sure, as soon as we're back. Oh, 
Yes, you're getting more than me. You've sure learned a lot this summer. Mom, look at all the eagles. Mm. They're waiting for the salmon to start up the rivers. By mid-August, you always see lots of them up here. Must be at least 25. That would make a great picture with a telephoto lens. You know, I think it'd be really neat to study about the ocean. There's so much underwater, we don't even know. Yes, it's another world under there. And one we better take care of. It's all connected. Land, ocean, air. Mayday, Mayday. Listen. This is the lucky strike. Ah! We're having engine trouble and are drifting off the south end of Pine Island. That's close to we us. We need help. Over. Coast Guard. Coast Guard, this is the Henry Bay. This is the Coast Guard. Come in. Just heard the Mayday. I'm southwest four kilometers off Pine Island. Do you want me to assist? Over. Yes, proceed. It won't take us long to get there. These swells may make it hard to raft the boats together. I might have to ask you to take Henry while I go aboard to look at their engine, okay? Mom, I've never steered Henry without you. Well, don't worry. We'll see what it's like when we get a bit closer. Looks like it's too rough to tie up. I'll come close and jump across. Mom? Get your fenders out. It'll be okay. I won't be long. After I jump, I want you to take Henry and pull away slowly. Just make slow circles while you wait. Mom, I'm scared. You can do it, Tess. Just remember all the things you've been practicing this summer. Okay? Here goes. That's my girl. you get to the harbor. Thanks again. Oh, good work, Tess. You okay? Well, yeah, it was a bit scary, but I did it. You sure did. I'm proud of you. Oh, I better get an ice pack on this. <coughs> Looks as if I've sprained it, Tess. I guess we'll have to head home early. That's it for this season. No, Mom, we can't stop fishing. Well, what else can we do? I can't get around with this ankle. Mom, I've learned a lot this summer. I can fish in your station and take the wheel. You can rest, I'll do more. But Tess. Mom, it's only for another two weeks. And I can dock now. We can do it together. I know we can. Please, Mom, let's try. 
Well, I guess we've both learned a lot this summer. Even you, you rascal. Okay, Captain. We'll give it a try. All right, Mom! Another big one. Good, good. Keep her straight. Good. There's kind of a pattern. Yep. Is that where we're going? Yeah, yeah, that's Millie Island. It'll be calm behind it. The wharf's over to the right, see? That red ramp? That's it. Doesn't seem so rough when you're steering. I think it's because you can feel what the boat's gonna do almost before it does it. You feeling better? Uh-huh. Okay, head for the dock. We'll tie up there for the night. There, that's better. I'm never gonna get this right, Mom. Gaff sharp, net. I need a hand. Tess, you're making things very difficult. Mom, you know I get seasick when it's rough. <laughs> it's not that bad up there. Why do I have to go? <sighs> not this again. For the last time, this is it. Fishing is what I do, and we'll make more money up north. Why don't I have any choice? Because I want you to learn more about fishing. You're 10 years old now, and I need your help. I know it's hard, but I'm my own boss, and that suits me just fine. Yeah, and you're my boss, too. Could be worse. But, Mom, I'll miss Candace and Seafair. I don't want to spend my whole summer up north. Tess, enough. You have to go, and that's that. Now, let's get the last of this gear stowed. Hiya, Tess. Hi, Candace. I didn't think you were going to make it in time. Of course I would. You excited yet? No, no, I don't want to go. I've never been up north. It's rough, and I'll probably get sick. And what if something happens to Mom? And what about our baskets for seafare? Hey, I told you I'd enter them. 
And listen, my auntie lives in Alert Bay. You'll be going by there, and she's a good basket maker. She lives in a big white house with butterflies on it, past the totem poles, along the water. Everybody knows my Auntie Betty. But I'm sure gonna miss you. Shh. Close your eyes and don't move. Okay, open your eyes. Oh. It's a present, a goodbye present. Oh, it's so cute. No! Oh, Mom. What are we going to do with a kitten? Mom, I'll take care of it. Tess? I promise, please. His name is Mamu. That's Salish for cat. Please, Mom. Oh. All right, all right. Yeah! Well, there'll be trouble over this one. Anyway, it's time to go. Good luck. And go see Auntie. Could you put out the next chart, please? You could mark out our route if you want. Make a good record of our summer's travels. Hey, look at this, Tess. There's an old homestead. See? It's right here on the chart. Another fish farm. Oh, and that's Indian land. Used to be a village there. See, it's marked I-R on the chart. Where's Alert Bay? Oh, you'll have to flip through about three charts. That far away? Yeah. rough water before we get to the harbor. Come on, take the wheel. No, Mom, it's too rough. You can do it. What do I do? First, look ahead. But, Mom, they're so steep. Watch the waves and keep Henry's nose pointed straight into them. I don't know how. Of course you do. You've done this before. Mom, not like this. Only difference between these waves. Watch now and any others, is that they're bigger. Steady now. 